What's going on everybody and today we're going to be looking at For Honor. I know I'm a little bit behind, um, work has been kind of iffy with me lately, I don't know what's going on next or what's going on now so I should be able to be on here a little bit more and we're almost to 1000 so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below and help us get to 1000 and I'm going to be busting out some content hopefully real soon as long as this whole thing in real life gets sorted out correctly. So as you can see, we're jumping on to For Honor today. The first three things that you saw were screenshots of what the game is going to ask you at the beginning, what you like the most, the Knights, the Samurais, or the Vikings. They don't really have anything to do with the gameplay, it's basically just asking you which one do you like the most. The next thing that you're going to be seeing when you first get the game is you're going to be able to mess with your emblem. Now you can see right here, I'm going to be going through everything that you can do on the emblem, and that way you can see what all you can do with the emblem. And that way you can see everything that you can do with it. I'm going to basically be doing this video as a walkthrough of when you first start the game and when you get to play the full game. So right now we're about to finish up with the emblem thing and then we're going to move on to the next thing which is going to be training. We're going to continue on with the whole in process thing of getting into the game. The next thing after the emblem is it's going to show you training and I actually do pull up the menu right here so you can see everything about it. You can see your move set. You can see the controls. I even leave that on the screen for a little bit so you guys can see everything. My opinion of For Honor is this. For Honor to me looked like a really really cool game. It looked like it was going to be action based. It looked like it was going to be really really just in your face action full on kill people and everything like that. It turned out to be more of like a fighter to me. I thought For Honor would have been comparable to like Rise Son of Rome when the Xbox One first came out which was a really good game. I actually really enjoyed it. This felt more like a Mortal Kombat Street Fighter but with more elements in it that even made it more difficult. Me, myself, personally, I am not a big fan on the fighter genre, so For Honor is probably not going to be a game that I pick up, just because it's not something that really interests me. I'm not big into the fighter games. I don't play much Metal Mortal Kombat. I don't play much Street Fighter or anything like that. Me, personally, I'm more of into the shooters or the RPGs. I'm really big into like The Division, as you guys know. I'm really, really excited for Wildlands. And as you can see now, I'm actually showing you guys, you can't do anything until you beat certain parts of the main world before you can go into multiplayer. So the next thing that I have to do is actually take on an AI boss to unlock the actual world. But you can see right here, I'm going to go through and you can see all this character customization. You can customize everything about your warrior. It's actually really cool. The helmets, the guard on your spear, your sword, the blade, the handle, everything. It's actually really, really cool and I was really excited for it. But it just felt like too much of a fighter, like a Mortal Kombat meets Street Fighter meets another element of difficulty, such as the guarding and where to guard. So you can't always just throw light attacks or heavy attacks, you have to guard, you have to block and defend. But in this game, whereas Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter, it's just one button to guard, you know, up or down, lower or higher. In this game, you actually have to guard left, right, and up top and you actually have to do it really really quickly and some characters aren't very quickly at switching their guard so this is definitely not going to be a game that I'm going to be picking up I was super excited for it but after playing the beta I'm really glad that I got to play it because after playing it it just it didn't really feel like a game for me I really want to thank uh, Bax80J at Upper Echelon Gamers. He actually sent me the code for this. I was super excited. As soon as I got the code, I went to go download it, and I had it downloaded in a little while. And then I got into it. I played a few matches and everything, got the hang of everything, and it just didn't, it just doesn't fit my play style like all the other games I play. So this isn't going to be a game that I'm going to be covering. I don't know if the upper echelon guys, Sank, and all of them are going to be playing it as well on live stream and everything. It's something that's up to them. I just know personally for me, it wasn't the game for me. But right now you can see I'm going it through and I can show you guys the customization and everything. It's actually really cool how you can customize everything. So I did want to talk to you guys in this video about the future content of this channel. Now, Division to me, 1.6 is going to go either one of two ways for me. Me, myself, I have always been based on guns. It's, it's always been, D in, in the Division, it's always been DPS for me. That's why I'm big on shooters. I love shooters. I used to play competitive Call of Duty. But with the introduction of 1.6, and I'm not, don't take me wrong, the skill power is really cool. It's a cool aspect, and I, I 
appreciate that aspect. I have a couple of my buddies that I play with. Uh, Uber Timmy from Upper Echelon Gamers. Sank sometimes plays skill power builds. I know Eker plays skill power builds. A lot of these guys play skill power builds, and they're actually really cool. I mean, you get a really good turret to guard. You get a cool heal. You get a really nice healing boost, a healer on your team, which is really cool. But 1.6 feels like it's taking away from the DPS players and giving love to the other players more than those who love raw DPS or gun skill. To me, personally. So with this upcoming patch, I've tried doing tank builds, I've tried doing skill power builds, and they just they don't feel the same to me. To me, I want to be able to just shoot somebody and know I'm going to be doing a lot of damage to them. I don't want to sit there and have to put 300 rounds into somebody and they sit there and they can plop down a turret and the turret melts me in, you know, 5 seconds. To me, that that doesn't really feel right. So, with Division 1.6, it could either go a good way where, yes, I'll find a build that I like and I'll continue doing Division content, or it comes out and I just don't like the update that much and I will move on to other games. So my big thing for me right now, and a question for you guys, is what kind of a content or what kind of games would you guys like me to play? Um, the next game that I'm going to be really digging down into is I'm going to be doing a... I actually just picked up a PS4 for this. I'm going to do a playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. I've been really, really excited for that game. I think you guys will really enjoy it. It looks really clean. It looks like it's got good combat in it, and it just looks like a really, really cool game. So I'm really looking forward to Horizon Zero Dawn. That's actually... I mean, I picked up my PS4 just for that game. Later on in the year, then I'll move on to the other PS4 exclusives such as Days Gone and Detroit Become Human, which are two other really good games that I'm really looking forward to. So the next thing that I'm actually going to be looking forward to are the next games that I actually plan on doing a playthrough or playing with people on this channel is going to be Horizon Zero Dawn, which I have mentioned already numerous times, and Ghost Recon Wildlands. Wildlands, I will have a video coming up here real soon about my impressions and what my thoughts are on it. I think it's going to be really cool, but I don't want to give anything away. I got some really cool gameplay footage and everything that I don't think a lot of people are going to be showing you. So I'm going to put it up on my channel, hopefully later on tonight or tomorrow. Wildlands already from the beta, I can tell you this right now, is going to be my favorite game so far. I'm not going to give away too much information, but... I'm going to save it for the video, but I will let you guys know this. Wildlands, to me, is a great game. The big question is, from this video, is, is For Honor the game for you? The answer is, if you're into fighters, it could be for you. If you're not into the fighting genre of games, I would stay away from For Honor. But do keep this in mind, if you are into the fighting genre, it has a different kind of a blocking aspect. I have talked to a few people that do like fighting games, and they don't even like For Honor. So it's really just your own personal preference. I know for me, myself, I won't be getting For Honor because it's just not the type of game that I enjoy. So hopefully you guys took this gameplay and hopefully I showed you a little bit that maybe you haven't seen from the start to the finish. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. We're almost to 1,000. I'm going to see about doing a giveaway. I know I got to talk to somebody and hopefully I can set up a giveaway and everything. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.